One of the things I love about what I study is the fact that the brain can change. I have been cross-eyed since the very first months of life. One of my eyes might be looking at you like this, and then the other eye was turned in and looking somewhere else. So I did not develop the capacity to see in 3D. In my 2D world, space was compressed. So if there was a dirt mark on the mirror, it would appear to be a dirt mark on myself, and I would try to rub it off of myself. And I had problems learning to read. My parents were told by the school principal that I was a dim bulb. It felt awful. I always felt that there was nothing I can do about it. I was just born with this condition, and that's just the way it was. When I was in my 20s and 30s, my eyes looked relatively straight because of the surgeries that I had, and I read well, although I read slowly. But as I got older, my vision became jittery. So I went to see a developmental optometrist. Our initial goal was just to stabilize my gaze. The most important ability that I learned was how to point the two eyes at the same place at the same time. I used the Brock string. I used polarized vectograms and I use devices like the Marsden ball. And suddenly, I'm jumping on a trampoline. And to my astonishment, along the way, I began to see in 3D. That experience was unbelievably joyful. It was like this revelation. It was a late winter day, you know, when the snowflakes are really big and gloppy. I could see the palpable pockets of space between the different snowflakes, and it was like this beautiful three-dimensional dance. Light fixtures seemed to be floating. Sink faucets would jut out toward me. I could see the space between leaves on a tree, and I would go inside these spaces just to experience that sense of immersion. And this was among the most empowering, liberating experiences of my life. It changed everything. Most people develop the ability to see in 3D at about three to four months of age. I developed that ability when I was 48 years old, which made me realize what I really want to do with my own career. I want to keep asking the question, what kind of therapies could be designed to help people with different types of neurological problems? The brain is what we call plastic throughout life. All of us have the potential to get a lot better.